Over the Thanksgiving weekend, when Donald Trump decided to play golf damn near every day, the Secret Service was forced to spend $7,500 over that weekend renting golf carts so that they could keep up with the president on the golf course and protect him should the need arise. Now keep in mind, these were Trump owned golf courses. He, he owns those golf carts. He owns the company. He didn't have to charge them a dime to rent those golf carts, but he did because he gets that money put back in his pocket. In this last year, since Donald Trump became president all the way to the end of November, we haven't even approached December yet. The administration, the secret service has spent $150,000 renting golf carts from Trump owned properties here in the United States. $150,000. Do you know what the salary for the secretary of state here in the United States is? A little bit under $150,000 a year. We have spent more on golf carts for the secret service than we do on our secretary of state and many other governmental positions. That's how insane things are in this country right now. And again, the most important thing about this is not necessarily that we're spending the money. It's that we don't have to. Trump owns those golf carts. He doesn't have to charge them a dime. This is insanity folks. Donald Trump swore up and down on the campaign trail that if he was elected president, he'd probably never see his beloved golf courses or properties again because he'd be so damn busy doing his job, he wouldn't have time for golf. Well, guess what? In one year, this man has already golfed more than Barack Obama did in eight years, yet every time Obama went golfing, Fox News treated it as if it was a massive scandal. They're giving this Trump golfing story a big ho-hum, doesn't matter. Well, it does, especially considering the fact that back in September, the agency ran out of money because they are spending so damn much on golf carts. I don't know how better to explain it other than to say that this is insanity. The bar for the president of the United States has now been set so low, it's just sitting on the ground. We have to demand more. We have to demand better. We have to expect better. We cannot waste over a hundred thousand dollars per year just so the secret service can rent golf carts from Trump himself to protect Trump himself. If these secret service people are as fed up as the rest of us, I would love to see them step down. I would love to see them resign and move on and leave Donald Trump all on his own because he doesn't know how to handle his job as president. He thinks it's all nothing but playtime as if he's some kind of toddler going to preschool. You actually have to do some work. You can't bankrupt the secret service just because you want to play golf. You can't spend more at your own properties, money that you get back in your own pocket than we do on government officials. That is a gross misuse of federal money. And again, that federal money, that came out of our taxes. So we're the ones paying for the secret service to rent golf carts from Donald Trump so that they can protect Donald Trump. This story may not seem like it's a big deal, but when you think about it, when you look at what's actually happening, this is truly a disgusting story that more people need to be aware of. If you're thinking about subscribing to our channel, I strongly encourage you to do that. But if you're not, thinking about subscribing, I would encourage you to start thinking about it. And then once you're thinking about it, actually go and do it. You can see the subscribe button right there on the screen. Or if you're watching on a different platform, go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire.